Well, this little video is an explanation of the um, Rational Sadism collection where it is so far. It's sitting at four books, but those of you who know me know it's only going to stay at four books forever. But I can safely say I'm not doing another one until 2018. I need to take a break from the writings. I've done a hell of a lot this year. Um, those of you in the Q&A Gateway group who are familiar with the history of the Church of Rational Sadism will know um, the happenings, what was going on before the release of the first book. But I want to jump straight to 2009 with the release of Rational Satanism, the first book, which also coincided with the establishment of the Church of Rational Satanism. Now when I released this book, there is a lot of talk in the community, views or someone's trying to create a new Satanic Bible. Now, I've said it then, I'll say it again. Satanism does not need a new Satanic Bible. We've got one, and we've got Levi to thank for that. The real, the wheel doesn't need reinventing, basically. So that's my answer to that question. But um, back to this, when this, this, you could say this was wrote at that time to test the waters. I mean, back, back, two thousand and nine. It was Levi and Satanism, spiritual Satanists, whatever we wanted to call ourselves. That was the main people in the community, and anything that went against the status quo. He really got laughed out, so this was a hit or miss book to be fair, and thankfully it was a hit. Now inside this book you'll see loads of passages, chapters, short chapters on life issues, ways of looking at things from a rational satanic perspective. Also in this book you'll see the beginnings of the 9010 concept, although it's not in black and white clear so you can see it, you've got to find it for yourself, but be interesting to see. It'd be interesting to know if any one of you is ready to have actually seen the 9010 concept in this book because I can tell you it is in there. But that's, uh, that's something for you to go back and have a look at, um, a look back over it if you had the book. Um, but yeah, but the first book of the collection, it's the one that started, started us all off really. It's a good place to start for people who want to learn the rational satanic system. And um, so that's the one to check out. Now, Fast forward three years to 2012, we released Rational Sadism, 90%, 10% thinking. Now that brings the core foundation of our philosophy to the public. Um, those of you, well, most of you should be familiar with the 9010 concept by now, by um, having a fluctuating fraction between irrational and irrational, subjective, objective, to use to a personal advantage. I'm not going to explain it here because, as you know, it's all in the book. Um, inside that book, when I read that one, I didn't want to fully explain the concept to a way that it can fluctuate and adjust your own personal system. Although there is hints in that book about its adjustable value, but again, it's for you to find it for yourself. Did you find it? Did you not? It's, it'll be another good topic to discuss to people, whether they actually found the adjustable fraction in there. Um, that takes us to 2012. With 90%, 10% thinking. Now, if we go f fast forward again, 2015 this year, uh, the release of two books in the system this year. The first, Rational Sadism, Future Proof Adaptability. Now, inside this book, this is what really explains the system. It completely strips down the 9010 concept and explains exactly how it's adaptable, how it can be used by any mindset, no matter what your own personal system is. I mean, um, there is, what this 9010 concept can bring is tolerance because it shows how all different mindsets and different ideologies can work together under the same roof, build on the system and still be a rational Satanist. Um, and in this book as well, it's a Satanic first, it's brought in um, a monomic system into the, into the rational Satanic pedigree. I mean, um, myself. My memory is terrible, I mean I forget, I forgot that much stuff now, it's, it's unbelievable. But what the monomic system does, it's a way of taking the, the point of rational sizing that you can really do a remembering. It links them to a number, and then that chapter relates to that number, so it, it creates an easy way for a cognitive recall system to, to bring part of the system forward when you need it. It's, a, it's actually it's a well proven system, it actually works well. Um, how many of you out there have actually tried it and got used to that part of the system so far? I'd be interested to know. But yeah, um, that's the third book in the system. 
And that brings me to the latest one. I'm sure you've saw seen the advertisement and the promotion for the fourth book in the system, which will be Vassal Satan Air Theory. Uh, that brings a completely new concept to the system. What it's um, bringing is creating a model dependent reality for your system. Now, the model dependent reality is your system, but what S theory is, is a fourth side perspective so that can link with a third side where the 90 10% thingy concept already resides. Uh, again, I'm not going to fully explain the system because it's a new book and now people are just reading it and I don't actually want to spoil it from. But also in the page of this book you'll find a, ch um, a different view on entropy. It's something I think many people will be able to relate to, this, this um, view of entropy. It's, it's different, it's not taking the usual approach that you'll see within sadism, but it actually works and does make a lot of sense. Um, yeah, well, there's all four together. And again, thanks to John Penkel for fantastic co cover designs. I mean, as I said, they're absolutely gorgeous, mate. But Bloody good work. Well, if anyone's interested, if anyone's interested in the books, or if you've got one or two of the books in the set and you want the rest of them, they can all be found at RS Merchandise, the merchandise part of a Church of Rational Sadism. And if you get them, I hope you enjoy them. Um, that's it for me. Thanks for listening.